Yo, 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 what up, YouTube? The Axe is your boy, Daddy Easy here, iPod Drop Break Hacker, otherwise known as Only Use Me, Tom Hawks, and some of y'all may know me as Easy, like I always say to the black to the blue on my avatar on my YouTube channel. Yeah, but so I'm gonna show you how to get your LG G Watch, any Android Wear watch, to run on your iPhone device. Basically, it's iPhone 6, 6 Plus, uh, 5S, 5C, 5. Um, basically, you get it to run on your LG smartwatch. As you can see right here, lost connection to my phone. Basically, it's not connected to my Android phone anymore. So, that's the reason why that popped up. So, let's basically remove that icon, remove this. So, as you can see, we got that little cloud feature right there. You're going to need a couple of things on here to get this program to run. So, first thing you're going to need is your LG G watch. Second, you're going to need your Android phone device. Once you get this um, installed onto your device, you no longer need this device. You see how videos keep saying you can leave it at home. People confuse meaning do you have to leave it at home or leave it on Wi-Fi? No. Once you install the app to this device, you can turn this phone off. You can sell this phone. You don't need this phone no more. Whatever you want to do. As long as you have it already connected towards this watch and the app is already installed on this watch, you're good to go. So, basically what you're going to need to do is go into your own search and you need to type in this. You need to type uh, Android Wear for iOS. Alright? You can use this one right here. Now, this one right here does allow you to do it. But the whole thing is, um, you can use this app to connect, but you're not going to get as much features on it. I prefer using um, this one better. Um, there's another way to do it by jailbreaking, by using this one, because you can actually install this one on your iPhone. As you can see, this app right here, it's actually this app right there, as you can see on the top of my phone, right there. But we're going to use this app right here. So, basically what we're going to do is... You want to go and you want to download this app right here on your Android device. As you can see, I already got it. Now, once you got this device on your um, phone, you just need it to let it download to your watch. Now, once you get this, that's it. And as you can see, I'm going to just power off my phone. As you can see, power it off. You want to just throw it to the side right now. As you can see, it's right here. You want to leave it right there the whole time. Leave it on screen so you can see that the phone is not being tampered with. Right here we have the phone, we have the LG G Watch right here, we're going to turn it on. We're just going to slide to the right, we're going to scroll all the way down to that bottom. And we're going to look for that app that we just downloaded into the watch. So there we go, here's the watch right there. So, after you did this, you're going to need to get an application called BLE Utilities. You go inside your iPhone, on your own iPhone App Store, as you can see right here. And what you want to just type in is BLE Utilities. So, we're going to go into search. We're going to type in BLE. There it is. Right there. As you can see, there it is right there. Once you got that app. As you can see, now this is a jailbreak that I have right now that allows me to swipe up and down right there. But you don't need to be jailbroken. You don't need to be rooted. You don't need to do nothing. You just need these two applications. Just the icons that I got set up is something that I like personally on my phone. Um, so I don't have to use folders. Basically, I just swipe and I'll be able to get to my stuff very quickly. But once you got that, what you want to do is click back on this. You want to look for that app right here we previously had. Right? We're going to click on this right there. We're going to keep it right here. We're going to click on this right here. As you can see, I'm running everything side by side. So when you do it, you want to keep battery update already locked, um, clicked on. You want to just tap on this to put iOS service on. Once you do that, you're going to see that pop over. You want to get that little icon that pops up right there. You want to put this in. You want to put the um, uh, code that they tell you to put in, which is 479 zero five seven pair swipe it to the side this worked a little bit faster than I did because I already been connected towards it already um but normally when you do this process it's gonna do that you wanna see the disconnect thing so basically when you do this thing you're gonna basically get everything like this let me shut this out real quick so I can basically show you how you originally supposed to do this so we're just gonna move this to the side. Um, 
Let's go back to the app that we previously had. Swipe it down, swipe it down. Okay, gonna hit that. Once you see the iOS, you wanna put the iOS, turn that thing on. Once you turn that on, you wanna swipe it to the right as so. Then you wanna see that. And as you can see right here, it says ready to go. I'm gonna demonstrate it one more time. And what I'm gonna do is, to let you know that this is actually working, I'm gonna turn off Bluetooth. I'm gonna swipe that away. Swipe that away. And it's looking for the device. It's not gonna be able to find the device because I basically shut it down. I'm just gonna remove everything I have previously on my phone. I'm gonna just swipe that down. I'm gonna go over to the side. I'm gonna click on that one more time. As you can see right there, turn it back off, turn it back on. As you can see right there, turn it back on. Now what you wanna do is swipe that to the right. As you can see, it says disconnect. That's when you go down to this, click on that. Once you click on that, you wanna click okay. That's the first thing that's gonna happen when you do it. You wanna go to your phone right here. You wanna go to that right there. And you just wanna slide that up. You wanna tap on that last, so. And it's going to look for your device. Give it a few seconds. Okay, I forgot to turn Bluetooth on. So there we go. We want the device to look for it. Like I said, tap on it. There we go. It's going to bring up a code right there. You want this thing to pop up on your phone. If it does not pop up on your phone and you get an error like this, just cancel that back off. Swipe to the side again. Go back over. Run that application one more time. Do it like that. Go back over. Swipe it back up. Swipe it up. Tap the screen again. Wait for it to look for it. If it still have the same problem again, cancel it out again. Back up. Now what you want to do is swipe it up undo your Bluetooth give it a few seconds go back to your Bluetooth turn the Bluetooth back on go back to the device leave everything on you want to swipe this back to Blio e utilities click that right there tap your device wait for the Bluetooth to pop up now you sync back up to the Bluetooth right here zero 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 five eight one three nine pair swipe to the side waiting for this thing to connect so you might get this just tap on it again if you get that and as you can see enjoy good to go as you can see that Bluetooth just popped up on the screen you might get something like this to happen if that happens again just put it back in one more time eight four six zero four one pair it back up swipe to the side again just wait you want to see all this transaction just hit it again tap it again once you see it says you're good to go just swipe that over to the side as you can see everything is running now I want to call my phone as you can see my widgets everything is happening I'm gonna send a text message to myself um that you see basically it's happening so my Android phone is right here switch is off so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go right here on my iPhone I'm gonna send a text message to myself turn it off which I sent it to the wrong text <laughs> sorry about that guys um okay so here's me right here I'm gonna send my fast text to myself, tapping anything. As you can see, send, lock screen. As you can see, that easy. As you can see right here, it says that easy, that easy right there. Tap the screen, slide it up already. As you can see, the same text that I got, and then with the CV at the end, CV right there works perfectly. So if I slide all the way up, you see all my notifications up there, telling me my battery percentage. If I wanna go listen to music, um, let's find something. We're gonna go into the this right here. 
I'm gonna just scroll down. You know what? Let me play one of my songs that's sung by my cousin because there's no copyrights and I have full permission to use his songs. Let's use this song right here. That's my cousin right there. I'm gonna pause it. Let's scroll all the way down. And as you can see, I'm gonna scroll to the right. Now I can control the volume. If you look on my phone, the volume is being turned down by my phone, by my watch. As you can see right here. So if I scroll back this way, sorry about that. Let's go back this way, play the music. Do that, skip the song. Time marks, and I will catch you guys in my next video. Remember, live it, love it, game it. Peace and deuces. Wow.